first blood spills. I demand more. That's what I see. Okay. Oh, so that's, I mean, it's a yeah. melee hero, but... That hero's, that hero's been pretty dead for a while. Mm -hmm. There surely is a reason that he's been dead. Yeah, he's bad. <laughs> there you go. So <laughs> why would they pick him here? Because they needed, they just wanted another hero with, like, AoE clearance for the Terrorblade illusions, but he's also a melee. Um, I mean, if you can make sure that you're not going to get sundered, then it's good. More burst, and they get some siege, and at least from tinker. it. And IGV goes for Tinker. Okay. Tinker Terrorblade. It's as cancerous as it gets. <laughs> pretty, yeah, yeah. pretty, pretty <laughs> no, awkward. just kidding. It's not as bad as Alfred Naga, but I, I like IGV's draft this game. Yeah. I think they got a lot better route. And I so most other mids who have tried to match up against the Lina. And July can't really do much. He, he, has, a, he has level one flame break. Okay, so maybe he could reposition SC and it will work. When Dogfights comes in, they're able to pick up the kick and, uh, well, Paparazzi lasers the victory for first blood in mid. Paparazzi also already committed to two points in March, so it looks like he wants to get his farm on. I Bottom see lane, a lot of support. Bats jump in. Sakata getting hit by a TP support is coming in. So Terrorblade, he wanted to be very aggressive with this push of Metamorphosis. It won't work, and Super also stunned up. SC, the rotation in, so they'll pick up both the Rubik and the Terrorblade. And that was SC just TPing out after his death in mid. That's why you hold on to your points on Monkey King. He has two points in the Boundless Strike and actually did others. Better for farming camps. All that, all that early vision March. from the mid lane is gone. Like, no observer what is watching Kaka's movement at the moment. And in fact, Earth Spirit's coming up from behind. Same with Faith. They need that initial stun. Faith will also need to get the Frostbite off. With Dogfights arriving, able to get a double kick on the Kaka and SC. But the Frostbite is there. Paparazzi, he'll get a revenge kill. But it's the mid for a support. That level 2 Boundless Strike, that extra half second stun actually helped him land that Light Strike array. Big, a big uh, victory for his skill choice. I think I saw it in his quick bite for a second. Paparazzi, there goes your jump again. Frostbite. SC doesn't really have enough burst damage for this just yet, but with the extra stun, the Light Strike Ray will connect. The silence from Dogfights comes way too late. The Fade Ball bouncing around, but with the pickup, you'll be dragging back Faith. Okay, maybe you're not dragging Faith back anywhere. Super in the battle he doesn't want to have. SC will get the double kill. Kaka's last little swing allowed that to happen. Sven, but Sven's pretty close to his shrine. That is just not oh, gonna bottom be the behind the tower. Cicada on the run, the frost gonna slow him down. You even hold him in place with a frost bite. And this is going from bad to worse for IG. The supporters just have no idea. It's not just a straight tower trade, but IG, they're looking for more. So they TP in dogfights, rolling boulder forward. He doesn't connect on SC, so instead it's to stun the other way. Kaka focuses on dogfights, SC doesn't have enough mana for his ultimate, so he can't just let Guna Blade to find the kill. They'll hold him in position with the lasso, and they want Paparazzi to get that kill, and they will be able to do so. 350 gold going into that Tinker, bring him closer towards that Blink Dagger after having BTs. Oh, they see Sakata. Kaka needs to call some the CMs on the way. Cavalry in. And, like, Sakata ran the wrong way for this. Because Kaka can start the stun, Faith can rotate in, and if he wants to, he can just let it go as well. And in fact, that's exactly what he does. The stun will come into effect, but Super's in the middle of this as well. He can't get outside the Wukong Commander. Maybe he can with a kick there. He's just able to run out of the rim of it with the Monkey King going down. Where to? Well, the, the one position they have vision of is the Observer Ward. She, she's uh, level 10 with respawn time now. She's, she's going to respawn in like yeah, five there's seconds. Your blink. Able to hit the lasso. Creep in the neighborhood. Now going to be removed, and uh, so was the Lena. So, yep, dead for five seconds. Can they transition this into a push? There is a creep wave meeting at the mid tower, so that is but perfect come, timing from them. But here comes Nubi. Like, your lasso is down. Kaka will give you the vision. Dogfights, he just try and clear off the tree line. Right now, he has no idea. So, SC drops the stun and the Laguna Blade. The follow ups on clipping the Terra Blade, and Crystal Maiden just lets the ulti go, combining it up with the Wukong Command. Invictus Gaming, they thought it could be a time to push the tier one tower, and really, it was just a time to die. Over, like, Glimmer Keep. I think you could potentially see value out of that. I think, oh, I think it's still really good. Too. Scepter up, and uh, in July, hits the ground. Very hard. <laughs> well, these trees is a massive stick. Dogfights, rolling ball to four, but U9. Still very quick with the Blink Dagger. More support is coming in the form of the Bat Rider, and they get the Consolation Prize. There's the box of chocolate to go with the Wheel of Fortune game. Faith will fall. No, CM. Blind the ball. Keep the bottom lane pressure down as well. So, Nubi, if they do go for this, for this push, remember that they are going to be on a clock to achieve it. 
while Tinker is keeping the side lanes pressure down. Okay, this is a good way to start it. We're talking about straight up and the Terror Blade! BKB or not, it's only useful if you can push the damn button. The tier two tower gets evaporated as well. I think it lasted longer than, than Sakata. Oh man. I suppose that's the easier way to stay, like, say, undetected, but still inside the command. Oh yeah, it's one of the best ways. It, it, with Echo, oh, you can actually get a lot of dead. Soul. It's also very good for <laughs> trying to scale up the Tinker. Yeah, that was a <laughs> <laughs> newbie yep, sense there, regards. <laughs> that Ruby did not stand a chance. I suppose Laguna Blade cooldown is nice and low anyway. So you're not that concerned. And oh, well, in July, you just tried to firefly and blink at the lasso underneath the Tinker Ward. At least the stuns from Dog Finds will allow some space, but they know exactly where they're TPing out. Kaka will find them. He has no bash to lend. Kill him and go. Same thing happening again up on top lane. Super underneath the ward. He came out here with two sentry wards. He knew exactly what he was trying to do. He's trying to get rid of that vision, but KP and Kaka, they are on the prowl. They're on the hunt. Uh, oh, okay. Sentry ward. Super can pick him up and just run away. Who died? Okay. Oh, okay. Newbie want this to be done. The bottom tier two tower, however, it, it is uh, where KP is holding them back. You would have just died in the Echo Saber hit. Bloodstone charge is the Bloodstone charge, though. Definitely shows the pace. Okay, dog fights. Rolling Boulder over, but there's friends here. SCTP'd in. And dog fights. Question. You could like blink Yolzum with Alina, but you need a BKB on her to be able to do that. Monkey King can't get in there. You don't want to be like that deep. You want to be, you know, kind of chilling far back. Oh, your they ult. see dogfights. Again, it's the blink. Yules. Silence will be there onto the Lina, but it won't really matter. The plan has a serious fault in it. The fault is we attempted it. We're done here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go farm, guys. Well, that's a nice one. The blink to the left side of the trees. As, uh, well, rolling ball to floor. They try and find the Monkey King. But Kaka, the sentry wall is down for himself. And at the moment, it's Kaka on the world. He can stay inside the Wukong command. Dogfights now walks in. He's losing so much life walking into it. He's almost dead on 58 HP. He has to blink away. KP running forward. Super will stay in the tree lines. And now Super, they find him. Just the jumping by. And SC casually looks to the side. Extends the hand and bada bing, bada bing. That was balanced. That's really what actually has to have happen. They just have to go like, in too deep, close to the front. Like, like something, something needs to screw up with like Bad Rider getting the, the greatest drag of his life and dog fights just keeping him out with a great kick or march to the machines. Like, that's the only way. You're gonna split Newbie up, but how do you do this when this is your attack? It's flying V from Newbie, jumping inside the base. You pick up the bat, you throw him around, but your issue is that blade mount. So much damage on Paparazzi, so he's having to fight underneath his own shrine. It's the only way he keeps the mana up, Akaka. Now the command is done. The lasso, it's dragging back the Sven in range of the mid tower as well. So Unai copping a lot, especially when it's the Terra Blade standing his ground. He'll do the work, and Monkey King has to get out of here. Same with KP, that Aegis the Immortal. Well, actually, that ain't gonna trigger. Uh, but you do bring down the Sven, the price you pay. Maybe like a Scepter if you're worried about your Sven. Bottom lane, goodbye Tinker. The Observer Ward did the work, SC was waiting for him. Oh god, a little Bloodstone charge. Oh, he doesn't have Bloodstone, that's right. That's a full respawn. Hey, oh wait, he didn't have buyback, he just bought Hex. Yeah, he's down for a full minute. If Ruby have cottoned onto this fact, then they can push in through bottom. With no Tinker, with no wave here. In July almost has to Firefly down the wave when it arrives. Metamorphosis will probably have to be triggered, and the Observer Ward inside the base, yeah, that ain't gonna last, but SC takes the opportunity. Blink, Yule Scepter, a quick counter Yules, however, creating space for Ninja Lion, and the Commander's down. Try and create a little bit more space. No one from IG is caught inside of this, but it's still allowing Nubi to beat into the tier 3 tower. Fortification will slow this attack, but it's only slowing him for a little bit longer. Nubi, they've broken the tier 3 tower. They're breaking the base. That melee rack is still target number one until SC in straight away takes out the Rubik. Both of them do not have buyback, and that one pickoff on the Tinker is probably going to spell Megas in favor of Nubi. So much for no field. Yeah, has no effect, Dog fights a great silence kick on the back line, and maybe now the Terrorblade, under the power of his BKB, tries to stand his ground, Mana style up, manning up against Kaka, it's all up to Sakata, can he do the work, he's able to do it with a Sunder, but the Sun's there from Unite, combining with KP, three down, buyback is available for Terrorblade, 
Well, that is better. Morphs is maybe not so powerful, but Tinker also on the front lines. Laser it up. They need these kills. You hex up on one, but FC back to the front lines. Paparazzi, defensive fuels. He needs to blink out this one, but he can't do it. The stun is there. He's still down. A full minute, and GG is called. Ruby have done it. They will advance forward and face up against the other Invictus Gaming squad in that lower bracket final to see who will represent China in the grand final against OG. Perhaps, as you mentioned, they maybe shouldn't have swapped the roles. They just seem to be a little bit out of sync and maybe putting a little bit too much on Paparazzi's shoulders. However, Newbie will advance to top three of Dota. It was not enough.